Steam Deck Nation here. Okay, guys, I found the easiest way to install Windows 11 on your device, on your Steam Deck. You don't need a computer. You don't need like a dongle or something. All you need is a micro SD card and that's it. So let's just get straight to it. All right, guys, so first thing you've got to do is boot into the desktop version of Linux. So it's super easy, just hold down that button, boot to desktop version. Once you're here, there's three things you need to download from Firefox. The first one is the file that's in my bio. This is the Windows 10 Steam Deck Nation IMG file. This is what you're gonna use to boot Windows. There are two other programs you need to download, one being Etcher. This is used to flash Windows onto your SD card. And Steam support, Windows resources, Download the Wi-Fi driver. You don't need to download anything else just yet. Focus on the Wi-Fi driver. All right, so now that we have all three of these installed, let's go ahead and begin the process. Before you do this, you need to set a password on the console. It's super easy to do, and you can set it to anything. So once you've done that, we can now actually proceed. Okay guys, now that we have these three downloaded, let's go ahead and put our micro SD card inside of the Steam Deck. So now that we have the Steam Deck's micro SD card plugged in, let's open up Etcher, right? Flash from file and choose the IMG Steam Deck Nation Windows 10 file. Open, ignore that. Select target, for the target we're going to use your SD card. Mine says Windows, it's a terabyte. Click select, and then we're gonna flash. Yes, I'm sure, go ahead and flash it. Okay, so while this is starting, you're gonna have to enter your password back here. It's a little hidden, so make sure you find it and grab it. Simply just put in your password, and now it will begin flashing. It's gonna take a little bit of time. So in the meantime, while we're waiting for that to flash, we're gonna go over to our downloads folder again. And then we're going to extract the Windows Wi-Fi driver. So pretty easy, just extract our drive here. Now that the file is extracted, we're just gonna wait till Etcher completes its process. So we'll go ahead and just sit for a minute. While this is flashing, I'll just answer some, you know, generic questions. Can I choose what to boot into? Yes, you can. What's super cool is um, I have two S micro SD cards. I can take this one out, the Windows one out, and put in my 256 SteamOS card, right? The SteamOS is on the SSD, so all I have to do is swap the card and it'll boot into the SSD as opposed to micro SD. Now I say I wanna play Modern Warfare with my friends. I take out that 256, I put in this terabyte card that's being flashed on right now, and I can simply just boot into Windows. Super cool, super easy. Yes, if you have files on your your micro SD card that you're using, it's going to format everything. All right, you guys. Flash has been completed. Take a look at removable devices. Here you can see the Windows files. So all we're really gonna do is go back to your downloads folder, copy the drivers, you can even delete them if you'd like, and then go back down to your removable devices and just paste. So now we have the Wi-Fi drivers inside Windows. Now it's time to actually boot up the device and take a look at Windows. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna simply turn the device off. Okay, what's up y'all? Now that the Steam Deck's turned off, we're gonna boot it into the bootloader BIOS mode, right? So all we're gonna do is hold the volume button up like that. Just click the power button, keep holding it down, and let it boot into the bootloader. So now that we're inside of the bootloader, we're gonna go to Boot Manager. And as you can see here, there's a few different things, for me at least. What you're gonna to wanna to do is go to the EFI SD card. Simply just click A. And now, let it do its thing. All right guys, check this out. 
we've got windows. We're not done yet. We got to do the setup process. But after that, there's two things we got to do. First, just get inside windows. That's all we care about right now. US, skip. Network, see that? Nothing pops up. Click, I don't have internet. Nah, we'll do that later. Accept. And then just name it. Okay, like that. You don't need a password, just click enter. And then turn all this crap off. You can do it if you want, but I don't want no freaking Microsoft tracking me down. So once that's done, just simply click accept. No, Cortana's crap never. <laughs> Look at this guys. How easy is that? Let's just wait again. Guys, look at that. How cool. We're not done yet. Obviously, there's a few things we got to fix. Um, by the way, if this worked for you guys, like, comment, subscribe. Help me out here. I spent a lot of time making this video, and I'm so glad I can do it. Um, but, yeah, guys, I want to grow this channel super, super large. I want to scale it to a big old channel about Steam Deck and all portable gaming. Because that is the future, and I want to be a big part of it. So, let's go ahead and fix some of these issues. The first one, of course, we need to put it over to landscape. So just go to settings, display. So there's two more steps that we've got to do in order to make this a successful window. Go over to the files, this PC, and look at that, we're already full. And I have a one terabyte drive. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna wipe out all the partition. So your Windows driver, open up your Windows driver and set it up. Yes, let us do its thing. Perfecto, golly, finish. Okay, close that out. And then go to your Wi-Fi and look at that. There they are. But your keyboard isn't gonna work. So just go over to your settings. Once you're in settings, go to devices. You'll see typing, click typing. And then, gosh, the scrolling's not working yet. This is the most important, right? Show touch keyboard when not in tablet mode. Switch that baby on and then begin the process. All right guys, so the Wi-Fi is connected. We're good to go. What we need to do is Microsoft Edge, as crappy as this browser is, we have to use it. There's no other option. And just for the time being, resize C. Link is in the bio. Okay. And then here, you should be here. Download the Partition Magic Portable Download. Let that do its thing. Extract the program. Go to 64. Click on Setup. DM.Resizer. Yep. Look at that. This is the last step. Okay. What we're gonna do is simply allow Windows to run on the entire micro SD card. So what we're gonna go do is go to this right here, the 14.26 gigabytes, resize slash move partition, and then drag this bad boy up all the way. Just like that, click okay, and apply. And check this out, let it do its thing. Look at this. If you go over to this PC, on this PC, look at that. Now we have the full terabyte or whatever size micro SD card you have. So from here on out, you're good to go. You need to download the rest of the Steam drivers. So just Steam Deck drivers. Make sure you get that APU driver. We've already done the Wi-Fi driver, no need. Bluetooth driver, SD card driver, and then audio drivers, one and two. And you'll see here, they're stacking up. So now we're just gonna extract all drivers. Go through all your driver files and keep clicking in until you get that set up. Just like that. Set up all the drivers, reset the device, and guys, you have successfully loaded Windows 
onto your micro SD card. You guys got it working properly. Like, comment, subscribe, do the whole thing because gosh, what a cool way to do some Windows action, huh? Now you can play Modern Warfare with your friends. So just let it do its thing. It's gonna be a little messy on my part, but you can do it organized one by one in the order. But there you go, guys. Cool beans.